hey guys, welcome back. Hey, come on, let's join Robert, Steve, and take a scenic boat ride around Saguaro Lake. Hey, Robert, how you doing today? Good morning. Wow, what a beautiful day. Yeah, you ready to take us on a tour around Saguaro Lake? I'm happy to join you. I think we'll let the experts drive the boat, but I'm anxious to go out there with you. All right, wonderful. Let's go. Well, now that we got our life vests on, we're ready to go. And even though it's fun out here on the lake, always remember safety first. Robert, you know, we work hard all week long. And on the weekends, we want to go out and have some fun with the family and take them places. But, it, you know, in these times, it's hard economically. And I heard in your May issue, you got some great places to take the family for pretty reasonable. Yeah, you know, we're, we're fortunate in Arizona to have so much public land and, and several national forests. Uh, right now we're in the Tonto National Forest out on Saguaro Lake. And public lands are for the people and it's, it's very inexpensive. The national forests, really there's no fees to go out there. Coming out to the lakes, there's a minimal fee. Um, but it's, it's an economical way to, uh, to get out. And as you look around us, I mean, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it's, it's right in the backyard of, of those people living in Phoenix. Our May issue uh, focuses on places like this. It's our family vacations, uh, family getaways issue. And in that issue, what we do is we, we look at five different areas around the state. We've got the, the Phoenix area, uh, the Tucson area. We also have the White Mountains, uh, Sedona, and Flagstaff. So in those areas, we looked for places, might be a museum, might be something like this, the great outdoors, might be a scenic drive. Uh, might be a cave hike, things that, that you can do with your families without uh, costing you an arm and a leg. Arizona has so much diversity. It doesn't matter what your lifestyle is like. If you're very active, if you're not active, young, old, man, woman, it doesn't matter. There's, there's so many opportunities to get out and explore the state. And again, that's kind of what our main issue talks about is looking at some of the more economical ways and also some of the more expensive ways too. You don't have to have a boat or jet skis to come out to Saguaro Lake. Let's talk to Forest Ranger Daniel and he's going to take us on a tour. Forest Ranger Daniel, obviously there's wonderful things to do out here. I see this area over here. Um, what's this for? This is a fishing pier that uh, was put in with the Arizona Fishing Game Department and the Forest Service. It allows a lot of folks to come out here and get into deeper water to uh, catch some of the fish that go down deeper to the cooler waters. So it's really popular because it's away from the shoreline. It gets folks out into the water where they want to be to catch the good fish. Where would be a good place for me to take the kids? Well, if you want to come out and enjoy the cool water, there's uh, Butcher Jones Beach, which is in this cove. It's uh, the public beach here on Saguaro Lake. It's got lots of fresh sand. It's nice and clean water. Uh, lots of people like this because of the giant cottonwood trees. There's enough shade. You can bring a picnic, bring your family, a cooler, some lawn chairs, lay out, enjoy the sun, watch your kids enjoy the water. Just a really nice, enjoyable place to bring a family. There's hiking trails just in this area. Lots of wildlife like the roost and the cliffs. You've got uh, peregrine falcon, you've got bald eagle, you've got a lot of the storks, cranes, and egrets that like to fish over here in the reeds and on the shoreline. So it's a real busy area for wildlife. We're lucky enough to see two uh, desert bighorn sheep. They came right down to the water, which is a privilege out here. Typically, you only get to see those animals high up in the silhouettes um, as they uh, are set against the backdrop of the sky. Normally, I don't ever notice them this far down. A lot of times, you'll <laughs> see the lake is full or full to capacity. But you look on the main body that we came from, there won't be a whole lot of boats out there because there'll be 20 boats parked up <laughs> along no, the shoreline. Down. They just cruise on back and sit here all day and swim. What a great place. Uh, right ahead of us is the Mormon Flat Dam. It is uh, one of the smallest dams on the chain of lakes here. Uh, it separates Canyon Lake from Saguaro Lake. And the water level uh, behind that dam is probably about 15, 20 feet below the top of the dam. So there's quite a bit of water held back right there. The sites, these recreation sites, are day use only sites, so we prefer people come down and use them during the hours of 6 in the morning till 10 in the evening. But the lake is open, bring your boat, you can come and night fish if you want or come out for an evening midnight cruise, you're more than welcome to do that. It's a good enjoyable place just to bring the family, float in the water and enjoy the, the crisp clean Arizona air and the sunshine. Wonderful, well we appreciate you taking time out of your day today to take us and our viewers, viewers on this beautiful tour of Lake. My pleasure, I'm glad you were able to come.